welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to create multiple files from SQL Server table. So let's say what we have here, uh, I have a SQL Server table, let me show you, that has data with multiple regions. So I have some records that has region AS Asia, some of them are NA North America, some of them Europe, and some of them Africa and South Asia. So what I want to do, I want to loop through these uh, records and create a file for each of the region. So I want to create a file that should be only having the records for Asia and then I want to have another file that should be North America and so on. So how I can uh, create that uh, SSIS package that will read through the table and just create multiple files depending upon the region. Okay, so go go ahead and open your SSDT or bids, whatever you have, and then create a new package. So click on SSIS packages, right click, new SSIS package, and uh, rename this one, call it create multiple files from SQL table. First of all, where we want to create those files, let's create a variable and, and uh, store the value of that folder or path of that folder where we want to create those files. Why I want to create a variable? Because if uh, on uh, other uh, environments such as UAT production, later on my folder structure will be different where I want to create those files. Uh, I have I will be using configuration to just uh, pass the value of the variable and uh, you know create the files there. So I don't have to open my package and make changes in the package. So let's create output folder variable. folder and this is going to be string and this is where we are creating the files so the next step is you can provide the backslash here so we don't have to write in the expressions and next step is reading those different regions so right now we have a three four five regions in this table but let's say tomorrow we will have more regions so every time we can't really hard code these values what we want to do we want to create a dynamic package that can uh, create multiple files without uh, you know making changes in the package so if tomorrow we have six or tomorrow maybe we have only three region codes it should only create those files so let's uh, select distinct region code from um, dpo customer table and it is given us five re different regions so first of all we are going to store these region codes in the variable and then loop through each of them and create the file so let's go ahead and bring the execute sql task and then inside the execute sql task we have to have we have to create a connection manager so we we are using oladb connection and our table is existing in the test database so uh, I have the connection already, but I'm going to delete it and create a new one. Provide the SQL Server instance name, and then provide the SQL Server database name where your your table is. So in our case, it is test database. All right, and now what we have, we can provide the query here that is going to return us each of these regions. And uh, we have already wrote distinct region code. That's what it is going to return us. Now we need to save these region codes in some variable. So here is the result set. If it is one, we can say single row and uh, have uh, multiple columns inside. But right now we are using full result set. So it is going to return us multiple values in single column. So that's what I'm using it. Now go to parameter mapping, uh, sorry, go to result sets because we are saving the result or output of that uh, SQL query into the variable. Add a new variable. Right now we do not have any variable, so I'm, uh, I'm going to create one. This is an output folder. It al already took it, but that's not where we are saving these results. So click here, new variable. The variable type is going to be object type. So that's what we are going to use and uh, store those results in the memory and uh, you know some some we don't want to specific to uh, it is a string or integer as uh, the values will be changing you know dynamically so this will be creating a table in the memory for us uh, to hold these values so okay we can name this one region code object so that that's that's the name of the variable we choose 
okay now here we need to just mention it zero and hit okay now if we run our ssis package what it is doing it is reading those distinct region codes and saving into the object type variable so let's run it we see um, we can't really see any output right now and nothing is going to happen it's just saved in the memory so we are going to stop it the object type variable destroyed now we, we rerun it it is going to uh, bring that uh, values uh, or region code uh, and save them again to the object variable let's go to the next step uh, now we have the region codes in a table or, or a variable and uh, they are in the memory we need to read them one by one and then uh, we will pass that value to the SQL query and create the files for that uh, region only so we will be using for each container here connect this one now we have different types of uh, enumerators we had we already have used the for each file enumerator in this case uh, we will be using uh, um, for each uh, ADU enumerator okay so that's why what we, we will be using uh, to read the data or rows one by one from our object type variable now select your object type variable and then go to variable mapping and then create a new variable that will hold the region code so we will do region code and that will be string value hit ok and then index is zero we do not have multiple columns so we are having only one column and each time it is going to say one value so that's the first one and uh, it will be repeating again and again till the, it is not done with the iteration with all the values okay next step is uh, what we want to do we want to create a flat file from the SQL Server table and we will be passing this region code to it as you guys remember we have used data flow task to create the file from SQL Server table so bring the data flow task inside the for each loop container double click now we are reading the data from the um, SQL Server so we need uh, OLEDB source so we can use that one so OLEDB source here we will be writing that query we already made the connection um, that's where our table is customer table we can write a query called SQL command we are going to use that select I don't recommend writing it here so my first preference is go here and select all those columns and then just copy paste you know your query from SSMS to the uh, SSIS uh, package so bring it here you don't write star because tomorrow you will have maybe different columns or you add some column or delete some column and you don't wanna you know um, error out your SSIS package so in my case uh, I always uh, take the columns what I need and then uh, just you know use them and here where we have to write a where clause because we are creating a file for each of the region so we wanna pass only the parameter value you know the region code to this query so we will say region code is equal to question mark so now we have a question mark I have to go to parameters let me see if I'm making some error uh, it is saying parameter cannot be extracted from SQL command the provider might not help to parse the parameter in one from variable use mode in which uh, variable uh, I don't think so that's correct let me take a look again uh, so we have SQL command that's correct and now what we are doing is equal to let's see if that helps okay that's not helping so let me see if we are um, writing this correct query let me see where region code code is equal to question mark let's say we pass the value as and then we come back here and then run it and if it is running fine yeah that's correct so what we need to do here we need to take this exact query go here and then SQL command that should uh, do our do the thing so we have uh, is equal to question mark parameters okay now I took it <laughs> I have no clue like what what was wrong but that's how you pass it 
um, sometime maybe we have uh, you know some misspelled the uh, the region code or something like that and uh, I, I prefer going to SSMS write your query and bring it here and just place uh, with the question mark where the variable is okay so we go to variable and then select our variable here so we know we want to pass the region code hit OK now go to columns and then uh, see the columns are coming correct fine so the next part is uh, we are writing this uh, to a flat file so bring the flat file destination and now make a connection hit new uh, we want to create a common delimited file in your choice whatever you want to do it you go ahead and do it and make your choices and in my case I just want to create a common delimited file browse and provide to the folder output folder right now give any name you like I'm gonna write the expressions on the top of the connection manager so it doesn't really matter so you can write customer test and it is a .txt and open it now here you want to if uh, you want to provide the text qualifier or header or not so your choice whatever you like so I'm, I'm on, I want the, the first row another column header so I have selected that one go to columns advanced and uh, take a look preview everything looks good hit ok now override data in the file if that's what you want in, you can have it um, if you want to create the file with the date and the uh, time maybe this is not really you know doesn't matter so it depends uh, if you you know you uh, upon your requirement what exactly you want it so I'm gonna just leave this one as it is go to mapping and see all the columns are mapped correctly hit ok now if we run the SSIS package what's going to happen it is going to create uh, the customer test file uh, five times and that's what uh, we don't want in we want to create a new file with the region code each time so how we can do it so we need to go on the file connection click on properties go to the expressions and then go to connection string and then select the folder where we want to create the file then add the name I want to have a customer in the first and then I want to add the region so I can add the region code at the end and then I can add that uh, extension txt if I want to add the date time here I can always uh, you know uh, write the expressions here uh, where I can grab get the date uh, and time of, uh, from the get date function I have other videos uh, where how to create the file with the date time so you can get those expressions from there just paste it here and that, that should work just fine for you hit ok hit ok now if we run the package it is going to create five files uh, and each file should have customer underscore the region code and the, the, the records should be related to that so let's run it first go to the output folder and make sure there is no files already created and then run the package so it is creating SSIS um, uh, it is creating uh, the flat files with the region uh, code name to them if you can see it here uh, you can see in the output as well now let's go back to the output folder and see so it did created uh, five files and we can open them and uh, the data is there so that's how you can create multiple files from one SQL Server table and uh, you can add date time to them and uh, you know depending on your requirement. Uh, thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.